Meet Alex and Rachel. They're both working on a project together at a coffee shop using their laptops. But what they don't realize is that someone else is watching their every move. An attacker can set up a fake Wi-Fi network or hack the already existing network and position themselves between your device and the actual network. This is a man-in-the-middle attack. In this video, we will explain man-in-the-middle attacks, which are a huge problem in IT security today. A man-in-the-middle attack is a type of cyber attack in which an attacker intercepts communication between two parties who believe they are communicating directly with each other. There are several types of man-in-the-middle attacks that cyber criminals can use to intercept and manipulate communication between two parties. Here are some common types of MITM attacks. IP spoofing. DNS spoofing. HTTPS spoofing. Wi-Fi eavesdropping. Email hijacking. ARP poisoning. Now let's review some of these attacks in more detail. ARP poisoning attack is the most common and potentially most dangerous man-in-the-middle attack. ARP translates between IP addresses to the MAC addresses of the device. Under normal operation, the user communicates with a web application via the gateway device or router using a MAC address. In man-in-the-middle attack, the attacker sends out falsified ARP responses for a given IP address, typically the default gateway for a particular subnet. This causes victim machines to populate their ARP cache with the MAC address of the attacker's machine instead of the local router's MAC address. Once the victim machine has an ARP entry for the default gateway replaced with the attacker MAC address, any traffic from the victim machine to the internet first goes to the attacker machine. Once the traffic has been incorrectly steered, the attacker will have full control of user traffic and can inspect, alter, or even drop or black hole the traffic means never reaching its intended destination on the internet. Or the attacker will send it to the internet but still be in the traffic path, so any traffic from a user to the internet is fully visible to the attacker. DNS spoofing, also known as DNS cache poisoning, is in another type of man-in-the-middle attack where the attacker redirects a user to a fake website or server by manipulating the domain name system resolution process. When a user types a website URL in their browser, the DNS resolver on their device sends a request to a DNS server to resolve the domain name to an IP address. If the DNS server has a valid mapping for the domain name, it returns the corresponding IP address to the user's device. The user's device then uses the IP address to connect to the requested website. In a DNS spoofing attack, the attacker intercepts the DNS request and sends a fake DNS response to the user's device with a different IP address, redirecting the user to a fake website or server. The user's device then connects to the fake website, which appears to be legitimate and can steal sensitive information such as login credentials, financial information, or install malware on the user's device. These are just a few examples of the many types of MITM attacks that cybercriminals can use to intercept and manipulate communication. It's important to use secure communication protocols, like HTTPS, and avoid using unsecured Wi-Fi networks or downloading unknown software to protect against these attacks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates.